Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wednesday here on The Pagan Perspective. I'm your host, Eric. This week we are talking about BDSM, self-harm, and the read. So this week we got an anonymous topic. I don't know who it came from, and apparently nobody else does either. But uh, it is, yes, I know this may seem like a strange question, but I remember there being a video on self-harm and injury and the Wiccan Reed, but what about BDSM and the Wiccan Reed as it is safe, sane, and consensual? Well, I had to look this up because I had never heard it referred to as BDSM. Basically what it means is bondage, dominance, submissive, master, you know, that... that uh, uh, S and M type stuff. So I thought about it for a little while, and as there is no topic information to read on whether or not anybody else seems to think that one way or another it is or is not against the read, I have to take into account one: it is not my cup of tea. I don't, I don't really have any desire to get in on the BDSM or S and M, as it were. So it's something that I look on with an outsider's perspective. That is something that I don't understand. I mean, I kind of get some of the reasons behind why some people may want to do that, and I don't look down on them for that, but it's something that I'm not interested in participating in, so it's something that I don't particularly consider. So I sat down for a little while and I thought about it, and no, I don't really think that uh, bondage or s and m or anything of that sort would particularly be against the read i mean i don't know the read very well other than than what i've read but i don't think that that falls under self-harm as much as it is just an entirely separate entity from from what the read has to say and yes i understand that that the read says uh, you know harm none and that should include yourself but I don't, I don't see that it's harming you more than it's helping you if that's what you're into and if that's what you like. And, and you know, I'm trying really hard not to use some of the more risque cliches on this video, as you might be able to tell. But if that's what works for you and that's what you like, then as long as you are safe and as long as it is consensual, there really shouldn't be any question as to whether or not that has anything to do with the read because that doesn't really have anything to do with magic. And if you're talking about uh, using bondage or S&M or dominance in in the Great Rite, which I, I don't particularly agree with uh, as, as a ritual practice anyway, which we've discussed in previous videos, but if, as, as long as you're not using bondage in your magic, in your magics or in your, in your rituals, um, I think I think that's perfectly fine. That's probably an entirely different video as to whether or not that sort of thing is is appropriate for ritual or for magic, which I would have to say at that point, no, I don't think it has a place there because when it comes to ritual, uh, especially with the Great Rite, if you're if you're recreating the Spring Festival at Beltane or something like that, the God and Goddess are balanced at that point and neither one should be a dominant and neither one should be a submissive and that's my opinion so when it comes to ritual magic and i know i'm getting off topic but i wanted to talk about this too because i found it really interesting while i was thinking about it when you're talking about ritual magic and when you're talking about just magic in general i don't think bdsm or dominance or whatever you want to call it i don't think that has a place however when it comes to just a practice that you want to participate in, as long as it's outside of your spiritual practice specifically, and you're not trying to do magics, or you know, you're not trying to do ritual with you know the the bondage gear and everything, I think you're fine. I think you know that's entirely up to you. But I did want to get this video out there for you guys to see. What do you guys think? What are your opinions on this information? You know, this this idea of. Uh, is is bondage against the Wiccan Reed? As I don't, you know, particularly adhere to the Wiccan Reed. This is just my opinion. What do you guys think? Leave those comments in the section below, specifically for comments. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to also post those in the comment section. Thank you for watching, everybody, and of course, until next time, Odin be with you.